Sammy Do, coming to you live from Precious World Office Studios, founder of the Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. This is a coaching and mentoring channel. And I want to talk to you if you are a real estate investor, or at least you're trying to be a real estate investor, you are trying to get your first or second deal and just trying to turn it into a business. Uh, let me give you a real golden nugget. And this is probably going to be one of the bigger golden nuggets I've ever given because it's really the, 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 the rudiment of not being successful. And I'm going to tell you what the three biggest obstacles that you're facing when trying to start your real estate business, trying to get your first or second deal. I'm going to give you the three biggest obstacles. And I believe in just trying to take a very complex, comprehensive uh, circumstance and I try to simplify it for my students. And that way you can have something that you can zero in on and do something about. And that's what I want to do for you. So if you are trying to get your first or second deal, you haven't been able to, you've been trying it for a long time, you've been watching a bunch of videos, you've been buying books, you've even maybe paid a lot of money for courses, and you still are not having success, well, you definitely want to stay tuned for this golden nugget. The three biggest obstacles that is preventing you for having success in your real estate business. Stay Sammy tuned. Duke, live from Precious World Studios. Doing it again, dropping another golden nugget. Right, Sammy do back at ya. Sammy do back at you. And we're talking about the three biggest obstacles that's preventing you from being able to get your first or second deal or get a trend going in your business. Before I get into that, let me just tell you, look, I am a coach and a mentor. I do have students across the country. I provide grassroots style mentorship and coaching uh, to new investors that's trying to get in the game and help them get their uh, first deal, second deal, and, and get their business off the ground. I am not a big guru, don't desire to be a big guru. I'm still in the business, I'm a guru myself, and I just take a little extra time out of my business to help uh, teach and train and coach others uh, to have some successes as well. If you would like uh, mentorship and interested, uh, you, you've been following me for some time and you see that I'm kind of real and authentic and just, you know, in your face about some things, feel free to book yourself a 30 minute free consult with me with, through the uh, real estate wholesale helpline link in the description that gets you on the calendar for free. And we can kind of talk about where you are, what's going on. I can give you some recommendations, things of that nature. And then we can actually talk about if you want a relationship with me. What that would look like and what that what I would require for that. So let me get into first big no. boom. The three biggest obstacles. I'm gonna start off by saying the three M's. The three M's. The three M's. What is the first M? First M is. Mindset. Mindset. Hopefully you can see that. Mindset. First thing is mindset, folks. What do I mean when I talk about mindset? I, I get I get a number of folks, number of folks trying to get into business. And they make the decision, they say, hey, you know, I really want to do real estate. And uh, I, I, I definitely need to learn how to do it. And so what do they do? They buy a $20 book. Uh, they watch a bunch of videos. 
Um, but, you know, do you think a $20 book is going to teach you how to make hundreds of thousands of dollars in this business? Is that enough? They watch a bunch of videos. YouTube University, right? And you think you're going to watch a bunch of uh, uh, YouTube University videos and learn how to do real estate investing. <laughs> think about that. I watch videos of doctors doing surgeries. I, I just have, I kind of like watching that stuff. Call it what you think, but you know, I kind of like watching that stuff. But does that mean just because I watch a bunch of videos of doctors doing surgeries that I can come do a surgery on you? Would you trust me to want to do surgery on you because I watched a bunch of YouTube videos? Think about that. Too many folks are trying to learn this business for free. Doesn't work that way. Mindset. If you really are serious about making this a business, not a hobby, but a business, you need to know about how to invest in yourself. Invest in your craft. Have the honor and decency about yourself to learn your craft. Learn a profession. You need to invest in yourself. That might mean a seminar. Now, I, you know, I spent $50,000, lost another $50,000 on a bad deal, but I spent $50,000. And to be honest, it still wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for me until I actually got like a coach. I invested in myself. I got a coach. And I'm going to tell you <laughs> another thing with the mindset situation. With all of my students, every single one of them, and it took me a longer time to learn this because before I had a mentor, I didn't have anybody in my ear. But I have to spend time deprogramming my students' mindset in how they think about trying to do a business. Some of my, a lot of my students have day jobs or jobs and um, they're wanting to do this business and then they think they want to do it on the side, which it's fine. You got to start somewhere and you definitely got to have income so you can eat while you're trying to build your business. But you can't, you can't build your business still doing the same old habits of being comfortable. If, if you work, you know, nine to five, then guess what? When you get off at five, you want to spend time working on some things doing your business. You can't be talking about you're tired and going to bed. If, 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 if you got time outside of your job to work on the business, you may have to sacrifice going to ball games, going to nightclubs, going to bars. You may have to sacrifice even time with the children. You may even have to sacrifice time with your spouse because you can't keep doing the same things over and over and over and expect different results. You can't say you want to get into this business and not treat it like a business with a part-time attitude. It, I, so I have to spend a lot of time deprogramming my students and, and it works better for them because they have me in their ear because it, it, it's hard to reprogram yourself without having some type of regiment, without having some type of accountability partner, someone to actually kind of push you. That's what a coach would do for you. Um, the other thing, you know, I have to break some of those old habits that they have, some of the ways that they think. When you're trying to build a business, you can't think like an employee anymore. And some of you folks have day jobs. A lot of my students have day jobs. They are an employee there. But when you become a business owner, you have to think differently. You have to think about things that a regular employee don't think about. How do you know what to think about? Well, you don't know what you don't know. Again, this is kind of where a coach helps you out with getting that mindset together. You know, and, and let me tell you this. So you do invest in a coach because I'm going to tell you, some students still don't make it even with a coach. Now, most of them without a coach won't make it, but even some that do have a coach don't make it. Why? Because sometimes they can't, they can't handle the, the tough talk. They can't handle accountability. I've had students that come, oh yeah, I always see myself doing 10 deals a month. But they can't handle when I have to correct them on the activities of why they're not, you know, why you're not executing the game plan, why you're not executing the marching orders that I give you in order to build your business. 
why, why you're not executing week after week after week have some type of excuse where well, I thought about this where I, I this came up or you know maybe I was tired today or you know something happened over here but week after week after week day after day after day, some excuse where they're not executing but yet they think they're gonna do 10 deals a month and they think they're gonna build an empire someday but they're not executing it's a mindset thing let me tell you a secret the wealthy folks, not that I'm in the business for wealth, but you know, being in this business does give you a good, a good living opportunity. Wealthy folks have the same 24 hours in a day that you do. What's different between the wealthy folks and you? They're just doing things differently. They have a wealthy mindset. They know how to do things differently with their time. They understand the work ethic the hard work that's necessary they're not looking for something for nothing they understand you got to put something in you got to have skin in the game that's going to get the results even just from a spiritual principle you reap what you sow well if you're not putting anything into it you're not going to have a harvest to come out of it don't get me wrong every now and then a squirrel will find a nut <laughs> There is a level of luck, even Mark Cuban would tell you, there is a level of luck sometimes to being wealthy and you, you get the right break. But that's that, that's not how you continue to build. You don't build a business off luck. That, that's, luck might be a once in a while. You, you have to build a business. So versus the squirrel that finds a nut and trying to teach a squirrel how to find a nut. And all, I, I try to teach you how to plant an oak tree, nurture it, and grow your harvest so you can have a bunch of nuts falling off the tree forever and ever. That's 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 what I try to teach my students. But mindset is the first, and these, these M's I'm going to give you are in order. <laughs> and it all starts with the mindset first. Are you seriously doing the right things? to get your business started so you can get your first or your second deal. Are you doing the right things? Have you invested in yourself? Have you tried to learn your craft? Even if you didn't spend $50,000 on a seminar like I did, because I don't I don't think you, 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 if you just had a good mentor, they can teach you the business. But, you know, watching YouTube all day, it's not going to get you successful in the business because there are certain nuances of a business that you still are going to need in order to make it make it and be successful you know what you find in social media and YouTube and books and things that they give you the what they give you the what they don't give you the how and the how is the real secret sauce of doing the business they give you the what you can do but they don't necessarily give you the how you can do why it's valuable information if you can just buy a book and think you're going to master a skill set, there wouldn't ne there wouldn't be a necessity for a teacher or a professor in college or a teacher in a high school classroom. In fact, you can just buy the book and get smart and, and get your uh, diploma, right? No, you got to have someone that kind of teaches you, walks you through, that holds you accountable, that checks your work, things of that nature. Mindset. If you're serious about your real estate investing business and you're struggling trying to get your first deal, I challenge you, first of all, check your mindset. Now, what is the countermeasure when someone has a challenged mindset? When you recognize, okay, I, I, you know, I definitely got to get, get my mindset right. Well, what helps there is a coach. A teacher someone that can help facilitate and hold you accountable every season investor not just investor but business owners have some type of coach whether it's a life coach a business coach some type of coach someone that has had successes that can give them information show them the landmines that are out there before they get to them so they don't have to step on them and, and get themselves blown up <laughs> but bottom line is what helps you with mindset is the coach the coach that tells you give me another 20 push-ups give me another 50 laps you know do more squats the coach that tells you 
what kinds of things you need to do because you you can't do that for yourself especially if you don't know what you don't know and what I do with my students the goal in, in my whole mentoring program we're gonna get you a deal within 30 to 60 days making anywhere from three to thirty thousand dollars providing that you're able to execute and, and 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 go right this is what what this is the whole idea a coach will shorten your learning curve and save you a lot of money in the long run as well as get you much closer to success than without so mindset is huge a lot of folks again trying to get something for nothing trying to just think they're going to watch a bunch of videos and make thousands and thousands of dollars and again every now and then like i said every now and then the squirrel found it up but if you're not really taking your craft serious that, that you you get one one win what i call one in a row yeah you got a five seven eight ten thousand dollar check okay do it again <laughs> do it again so that's the first major major obstacle that i'll give you the first major major obstacle. i would also add that you have to be able to handle accountability some folks don't like to be held accountable some folks don't understand tough talk and I'm not talking about calling your names and belittling you and things of that nature what I'm talking about is I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear not necessarily what you want to hear now needless to say even a good coach have to recognize time and occasion and when to lift up and when to correct but for you as a student for you as a mentor trying mentee trying to learn you have to be able to handle hearing things that might make you feel uncomfortable you're going to also have to be able to handle doing things that might make you uncomfortable so mindset is huge you've got to be able to handle accountability and when you're when you're listening to a coach you can't take it personal in the sense of being mad and emotional about it you have to take that that fire and apply it uh, apply your coach's counsel and apply it with, without being all upset with your coach. Your coach is designed to want to see you be successful. And sometimes it's not going to sound right or comfortable to you. If you're doing something stupid, you know, we, a coach will tell you that. If you're wasting your time, a coach will tell you that. You may have put in a whole lot of hard work doing this and still no results. And your coach told you don't do that you're wasting your time just because you don't put in a lot of work and spend a lot of money and all that stuff if you did it wrong you did it wrong if you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong so you got to be able to handle being held accountable that's mindset is huge that's one of the hardest things to get past with most folks mindset you know, <laughs> tend to filter out 90 percent of people anyway because not everybody has the the, 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 the the mental fortitude to be able to do a business. So keep that in mind as your number one biggest obstacle that's preventing you from getting your first deal. All right, next M. First major obstacle that you're dealing with is the mindset, your mindset. And what do you gotta do? You, you gotta deal with that. And I gave you some pointers already. The next M is folks the next m that is the biggest obstacle is money money the dollar bill y'all let me tell you what i mean by that because i know some of you are saying well sammy do you know i heard that you can do real estate without using your money Sammy, do I heard you can do real estate without using your credit. I heard and I, I hear that you can make a lot of money using no money tactics in order to make money in real estate. Well, I would tell you theoretically yes, practically no. <laughs> theoretically yes, practically no. Folks, if you already knew how to do it, you wouldn't be watching this video you wouldn't be trying to 
figure it out on your own because you already know how to do it but so you I mean you're, you're trying to figure it out on your own but <clears throat> you can't figure it out on your own so why is that because when you're trying to do it for free you're only getting the what when they're talking about doing this no money uh, real estate transaction type stuff theoretically yes but they're not telling you how to literally do that and not only that that information is valuable this is why folks can sell seminars and books you know $30 books, $20 books, $50 books, whatever. Seminars for twenty and thirty and forty and fifty thousand dollars. And I'm gonna be honest, even to go and spend the money for that, really at times don't make you successful by itself. So it's important to understand though, you're gonna have to pay investing yourself for education, trying to learn. Now you can do a seminar, spend a lot of money. I, I suggest just get a mentor. Oftentimes a mentor will teach you what they know. And being that in most cases you can go to the seminar and spend three or four days with you and information download, information overload, you're not going to remember half the stuff anyway. You learn more from doing things practically on the street real deal as you experience a transaction that's how you learn the most and this is what a mentor can do for you because oftentimes these seminars are also only teaching certain strategies some single strategies maybe two or three but there are multiple strategies out there and you want to be in the best position by knowing those strategies so when you do have a deal you can do something with it because if you're not taught it and you don't know it you may think you don't have a deal so some of you that's been struggling trying to get your first or second one and maybe you've had an opportunity and it fell through your hands maybe you didn't realize or you could have handled it a different way why it's the lack of education you have to invest in something to be able to learn again you're not going to be able to watch youtube videos and learn the business secondly uh a coach and a mentor they're not going to necessarily be free. Their time is valuable. They're not going to necessarily be free. Um, <laughs> their, their time is valuable. So you want to be able to understand and respect their time. And there's got to be something in it for them for their time spending with you. I tell all of my students, look, I'm still doing the business, but of course I'm not doing as much as I was doing because I have students now. And every time I'm talking with a student and giving them the, the, their strategies or, and their marching orders on what to do, that's taking time away from my, me and my business. So there's got to be some type of exchange of value. And you can find a coach mentor and work out that situation, but just you need to be prepared to invest. Stop trying to ask people to give you information for free. <laughs> An attorney goes to the law school they pay a lot of money to, to learn the law, and when they get out, they expect to be compensated for their knowledge to help you out of trouble when you need the lawyer. A lawyer is not going to necessarily work for you for free. No different with a coach or a mentor. Their, their time is valuable. The information that they have for you is valuable. The information that they have for you is going to save you a lot of money in the long run. They're going to tell you, be able to tell you. Oh, no, I wouldn't put your money in this item. This is a scam item. Oh, I wouldn't put your money over here. This this doesn't even really matter for your business. In fact, I recommend that you use this system. I recommend that you use this product because this is what I use or something of that nature. Give you the shortcut so you don't have to spend a lot of money on trying a bunch of different things, getting your money lost and taken. Coaching and mentor will help save some of that. Listen. Money is also from a business operation uh, standpoint. You got to be able to market. Mark, marketing is definitely not free. You, there are some few little free things you can do, but you want to know a secret? People like me and others that are out there that are seasoned doing it, if they got capital, they're going to be able to outspend you. <laughs> it's, it's just like a political campaign. The ones that got a lot of the money, they can put all the 
bad commercials out there talking about their opponents, and, and they, you know, they can win. That's why that that measurement of capital is capital is important because money do, does matter in this business. <laughs> If you're trying to just have a little hobby, then I'm not really talking to you. And a hobby, you know, you can spend all day trying to figure it out. And you can spend 10, 15 years trying to figure it out if you want to. I'm trying to talk to someone that wants to make a business out of the real estate investing sector of this world. And so you've got to have money to actually uh, market in some way or form. Okay. Not to mention just, you know, business expense, period. You, you, you got to have money for, you know, having uh, 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 earnest money. You got to have money uh, for any type of inspections and things that might be necessary. You, you, you got to have some level. Of money. Now, how much money? I won't really get into that because that can kind of vary. And, you know, I know a lot of folks are trying to get in this business so they can increase their wealth. And I know some little shortcut ways with a very small budget on things that you can do to kind of get you that first win. And once you get that first win, we're going to have to use that money to reinvest in the business and certain things infrastructure wise to get you going to the next, next level. And then once you do that enough, now you've got an engine seasoned investors. Some spend, you know, as little as three to $5,000 a month in their business. Some of them spend, I know as much as, Fifteen and thirty thousand dollars a month, depending on how big they're going. Some spend even more. There, there, because it's a business. You have to have operating capital. And you're going to have operating expenses. You're struggling trying to get your deal, and you're not spending any money. If you're not putting anything in, there's nothing for it to come out. So I want you to clearly understand. Mindset is a big deal. And money is a big deal. Now, if you don't have a lot of money, I get that. And, you know, um, this is where you are. And we may still be able to talk about some things that you can do to kind of, you know, over overcompensate for that. But bottom line is, you're going to have to be prepared. If you got a day job, be able to carve some things out. Or carve something out. Stop buying so many bags of chips and pizzas or whatever that you're spending your money on, video games or whatever. And put that money aside to, to, to say, this is going to be for my real estate investing business or any other business for that matter. Be smart about it. it. Business takes business capital. And if you're going to be making money, it's going to require money for you to make money. No secret there, folks. No secret there. That's M number and two. And speaking about M number two money. What is the countermeasure that helps you with that? A mentor. Because a mentor can better tell you what to spend it on, what not to spend it on. Heck, a mentor can prevent you from getting into a bad deal. My very, very, very first deal, I had money when I started my business. I, like I said, I spent 50 grand on seminar, and I also spent another 50 grand on my first bad deal my first transaction was a bad deal overbought bought in bad area had to foreclose lost that 50 grand uh had i had a mentor i could have been i would i, I probably would have been told that was a bad deal but i didn't i thought i knew something because i went to a seminar <laughs> wrong answer so a mentor will help you with how to kind of spend your money, when it's time to spend, what to spend it on, what you shouldn't spend it on. They can kind of help guide you with some of that so it would save you money in the long run. They have their own losses. Um, you know, I've done 130 different types of transactions. Some I didn't as, some transactions I didn't make as money as much money as I hoped because of certain things that came up didn't estimate the taxes correctly, or just didn't even have that part, you know, all kinds of different scenarios. And, and, and this is where you leverage the experience of a mentor to help you on how to spend your money. But also understand, it's gotta be something in it for your mentor as well. Number three M, folks, marketing, marketing, marketing. Let me tell you something. This is not exclusive to the real estate investing industry. Uh, this is this this applies to any type of business you try to start. And most business owners, when they first start, 
don't understand and appreciate the value and knowledge of marketing folks if you had a walmart store <laughs> and not a single customer walking in that building you don't have a business if you don't understand marketing on how to bring business to you or go out and get the business you don't have a business if you're struggling trying to get your first or second deal and you don't have people to talk to about their properties you don't have a business now here's the other kicker marketing is a huge arena it's so huge that colleges have marketing degrees that's how huge marketing it is so don't think that you can just do a couple of little something and understand it you have to understand marketing tactics very the various different strategies that are out there you know tv radio billboards bill bandit signs uh social media and the various different types of social media uh, uh letter campaigns all that kind of stuff and you have to also have to understand the psychology behind marketing the purpose what are you trying to do the difference between marketing abroad or wide and target marketing the difference between pushing a brand and 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 marketing for a product you have to and, and this is huge marketing is huge and i tell you even today most even seasoned investors spend most of their time in the marketing aspect of their business anyway they, they're always looking for the next and latest and greatest system they're what what is the next latest and greatest strategy let me tell you all the different type of marketing strategies that you ever heard of all of them work but the key is you have to figure out what works in your area what works in your area especially in real estate in my market for instance bandit signs are don't really work anymore because it's overly saturated so you have to figure out what can you do outside of bandit sign right but marketing is huge and it's it's very comprehensive you got to really study and spend time so how can I shorten getting some results because I don't have the money it takes marketing takes a lot of money by the way uh, <laughs> I would say probably 80% of your operating budget from a real estate investing standpoint should probably be dedicated to marketing so if, if you got a monthly budget of ten thousand dollars you probably need you're, you're probably spending about eight thousand dollars in marketing <laughs> um, so just kind of keep that in mind that marketing is huge now uh, and it's so huge like I said colleges have pr provide marketing degrees because marketing is always changing as well as times go you know back in the early 1900s they didn't have internet in fact they didn't even have tvs and didn't have radios you know come 19 i think 30s or 40s or whatever when they finally got tvs right uh but they didn't have internet back then they didn't have social media back then so now we get into the, the late 90s and now we got internet and then we get into the 2000s and now we got social media and those items you know are, are ways and tools for for marketing and then you have to still learn how to util, best utilize the tool because marketing can also be a money pit you can keep throwing your money down in marketing and still not get results why because you're not really paying attention to it you're not really doing the proper analysis you're not really understanding what's the right tool for what you're trying to do so what's the counterbalance what's the countermeasure to helping you uh, better understand marketing where you're not really having to go to school and learn it the counterbalance is experience well how do you get the experience you can get it the hard way continue to keep throwing money keep throwing money keep throwing money until something works uh, you can keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it some, or you can leverage somebody else's experience well guess whose experience you can leverage your mentor there's your if, especially if your mentor is active you, you can leverage your mentor because we're, we're all tend to kind of keep up with what's going on what's currently working we talk about the different experiences we've had in the past that we can share of what worked uh, there's all kind of things 
Um, if you don't have that experience, leverage your mentor's experience. There's not nothing wrong with that. And you also have to understand this. How come no one's really telling you all about how marketing works? Because it's competition. Marketing is secret sauce. No smart business person is going to give you marketing secrets, especially when you're going to be in direct competition with them. You know, I worked in retail for many years and we, you know, we just had the Black Friday that just come around and in many years. We didn't put our Black Friday ads out until Black Friday. That was a top secret, corporate secret. If you leaked it out, you can get terminated. Why? Because we didn't want the competition trying to see what our ads look like so they can try to match it and, 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 and beat it. Marketing is, is a very confidential arena. And this is why when you're struggling trying to figure out what to do and what works, um, you're, you're, no one's really going to openly try to tell you everything. And I'm, I'm, one thing I learned, too, is even at these seminars, they give you all the old stuff. They give you all the things that not working now, but what worked in the past. They don't give you like the current trends of what works. And understand this. Once everybody is on the same current trend, it's going to be overly saturated. So you're going to have to do something different. <laughs> so marketing is huge. But how do you offset or overcome marketing? It's through experience. And the best way to get the experience is to leverage the experience of someone else that's been doing it, i.e. a mentor. The three biggest obstacles, mindset, money, marketing, mindset, money, marketing. So folks, those are what I call the three M's that are the biggest obstacles to you being able to get your first or second deal or trying to get your, your real estate investing business off the ground. If you like this information, please comment below. Let me know that it was very valuable to you and I'll continue to try to dig up out the chest more information and more content. Please like this video, uh, share it with someone that you know that may be struggling with it. And if you actually need help in which I recommend it. Now, I know there's a bunch of hard-headed folks out there that just think they're going to wing it and you know you're going to have states like Illinois put in legislation and now you can't even do wholesaling up there because folks unjacked it up. You can keep going that route. I don't recommend it but it will catch up with you and not only that it's going to affect everybody or you can go and get yourself a coach or mentor. And listen, I do avail myself. I, I like I said, I do have students, and I'm currently accepting students. But I can't get, I can't do to everybody. You know, that's why these seminars don't work. You can't mentor 200 and 300 people. I was in a class of about 300 folks when I went through my seminar, and the mentorship was 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 pretty crappy. With the way that I provide for my students, you get me. You're able to pick up the phone and call me, text me, email me. Almost at any time of day or night almost you know just reasonably or whatever you have full access to me I call you as well because I want to see you and help you get your first deal I want to see and help you get your second deal I, I am a grassroot type of coach mentor now here's the challenge though I can only take on a limited amount every month so as when those slots are full I, I have to cut it off so you're going to have to if you're going to have to act pretty quickly. If you need to get a mentor and you want to look at me, you need to get on my calendar as quickly as possible. The real estate wholesale helpline link that's in the description and get on my calendar and it will be in the format of a video uh, conference because I still believe in handshakes and looking people in the eye and I have students across the country so I can't necessarily get the handshake but I can still look them in the eye during our video conference. And before I actually will agree uh, to possibly uh, become your coach or mentor, we can talk about that. But uh, uh, it's a 30-minute free consult. Uh, if you don't like me, get somebody else. But at the end of the day, get you a mentor. Get you a mentor. Folks, I come at you from a grassroots wheel, giving you the golden nuggets. Hopefully, you can appreciate it. Uh, and again, like I said, subscribe to this channel. 
if you like the content that we're putting out here subscribe to the channel that would encourage me to continue to do this because I'm, I'm all about trying to help help folks out there um, if you like it please like it uh, make a comment and again feel free to uh, get yourself on my calendar reach out real estate wholesale helpline and I think that's going to be about it. The three M's, mindset, money, and marketing are your three biggest obstacles. I know that for a fact. I've been where you are. <laughs> and, you know, five years later, I'm able to kind of break it down and make it a little bit more simple for you so you don't have to spend as much time uh, not having success as I did. But, you know, 130 transactions later, over $500,000 and gross income later, uh, I'm now able to help you out, uh, reach one, teach one. So, if you want to uh, get some help, click the link and get on my calendar or find somebody to help you out. And uh, hopefully you found value in this. Subscribe to this channel and I'll continue to put out more content. And until then, I'll see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. Hey, hey, Sammy, do the do -roo back at you. Hey, uh, are you smelling what I'm cooking? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You like these golden nuggets that we are dropping at you? Well, if you do, please like the video that you just seen. Also, subscribe to this platform. You can do that by hitting the red uh, subscribe now button somewhere here or there. Uh, look for it, hit the subscribe button. Uh, that would encourage me to continue to put out uh, more content like this. And, uh, check out my library of other videos as well also don't forget if you need to set your appointment the link is in the description real estate wholesale helpline and until then i will see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded god bless sammy doom 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 out